What's up YouTube? Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. In my last video, if you haven't seen it already, you should check it out. I show you how to debone a whole chicken in a few simple steps. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make one of my favorite things to eat. A roast chicken and rice dish with incredible crispy skin and authentic Korean flavors that I'll be sure to drive everyone who tastes it insane. Chicken and rice, let's get it. For our recipe today, we're gonna to use a fully deboned whole chicken, which I showed you how to do in a earlier video in a few simple steps. We're gonna use a dry brine for this recipe, which I personally feel is superior to a wet brine. Start off by generously seasoning the flesh side with kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper. We're gonna flip our chicken over and generously season the skin side with just salt. Now during the dry brine process, the salt is going to expel any excess moisture that's remaining in the skin, and that's gonna give you the beautiful, crunchy, crispy skin that you might find attractive in a roast chicken. Now from here, we wanna leave it uncovered at room temperature for a minimum of one hour or uncovered for up to a day in the fridge. Here's what my chicken looks like after a day in the fridge. While we let our chicken get to room temperature before we cook, we're gonna prepare our rice. We're using sweet glutinous rice or chapsal in Korean. We're gonna add some aromatics such as garlic, a very generous amount of garlic, a handful of pine nuts, a quality control cat like Marcy is very handy too a couple of dried dates. Not the most authentic Korean ingredients, but add some Chinese sausages because they're so delicious in rice. And for some extra flavor, add the wings and some bones from the original chicken into your rice. Here I'm adding the chicken tenders. Put it in your rice cooker and let it just do its thing. And through the magic of time, our rice is ready. Before moving on, we want to remove any of the bones that we may have added to the rice, such as in this case, the backbone with the tenders and the wings. Take out the date, remove the seeds and give them a good chop before putting them back in the rice. Give your rice a good stir to evenly mix all the ingredients. In a hot oven safe pan, melt some butter and add your rice to it. This is gonna form not just a great bed for the chicken to lay on, but it's gonna produce a delicious crispy rice at the bottom. Some call it sakurat, I call it nurumji. When you're ready, neatly lay your deboned chicken on top of the rice. As a final step before roasting, I like to brush the chicken all over with some melted butter and sprinkle some salt on top which is going to help improve the texture as it's roasting. Now our chicken is going to roast at 425 Fahrenheit for roughly 30 to 45 minutes and this incredible Korean roast chicken is ready. Check out that crispy rice. I can't tell you how good that was.